Uh, today we are going to uh, learn uh, Greek alphabet pronunciation rule, rules for gamma. Rules for gamma. When gamma is followed by a alpha, gamma, kappa, ki. It is pronounced like the English ng sound, which means the uh, fourth gamma pronounced as ng sound. Again, this is gamma. So the case is gamma alpha, right? It can become gamma alpha, then gamma pronounced as ng. Instead of gamma, it's pronounced as g sound, right? So g sounds change to ng sound. And then next case is what? Gamma, gamma. So when gamma, gamma comes together, again, force gamma changes to ng sound. Okay? And then gamma, kappa, again, force gamma changes to ng sound. And then gamma, key. When gamma, key, so gamma changes to ng sound. So, this one is one of the example we can practice. Angelos. Let let's let's uh, let's talking about the uh, the name of the alphabet first. The first one. Alpha. Alpha. Gamma. 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 Eta. Epsilon. Epsilon. Lambda. Lambda. Omicron. Omicron. Sigma, sigma, right? We learned the sigma, it has two forms, mm -hmm. but this sigma is the final form because it comes at the last alphabet of this word. So, pronunciation on this letter, alpha is what? A ah, ah, sound, sound, right? And then the second and third is gamma, gamma. Angel. So the fourth gamma, we have to change to what? Ng Angel. sound, right? And then third gamma, obviously, same, right? Which is G sound, right? And then next one is epsilon. Epsilon is vowel, A sound. And then the lambda is L sound. And then omicron, O sound. And then sigma is S sound, right? So the first syllable, ang, right? Ang. Ang. And then, gel, los. And then the accent is on the above of the uh, alpha, so the writing sound, so angelos. So, angelos, angelos. And today we are going to study uh, to look up the Bible. And then the how angelos is used in the New Testament. Okay. So this is angelos. As we know, Greek noun has gender. So angelos is noun masculine. And then the angelos is what? Messenger. A messenger from God. So angelos is messenger. And then angelos comes from the angelo. You see here? This is a los. Angelo. It's omega. Angelo. Angelo to bring tidings. A messenger, angel, pastor. That's the masculine noun. And then from this angelos, uh, there is a compound word uh, made from this angelos. Uh, feminine noun, can you pronounce? Angelia. Very good, very good. Because it's gamma, gamma, so force gamma An. is an ng sound, right? So, angelia, right? Angelia. Angelia is feminine noun. Announcement, message, news. What about the next one? Angelo. Very, very good. Very good, man. Very good. So, Ana plus angelo, that's the compound word. So since gamma, gamma is right here, so force gamma changes to ng sound, right? So 
Anang, right? Anang gelo. Anang gelo. Anang gelo means the, that is the verb. Report, declare. Next one. Apangelo. Very good. Apangelo, right? So, apang. Again, gamma, gamma. So, force gamma is ng sound. So, apang. Apang. Gelo. Apangelo is the verb. Compound word. Proclaim. Report. Next one. Ar Arsagelos. Very good. So, again, this gamma gamma rule again. So, arkang, right? Oh, arkang. Arkang gelos. So, arkang gelos. Arkang gelos. Uh, arka means the 757 chief. Chief. So, arkang gelos is chief of the angel, chief of the messengers. And then the next one. Very good. So again, gamma gamma roll. So the ang, right? The ang, the ang gelo. So the ang gelo to carry a message through. Because the a is a preposition, that means through, 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 starting to the end, through, through. So to carry a message through. Okay, next one, little bit tricky one, right? We know the next one, the second letter is what? Kushi. So it's a double consonant, right? Very good, yes. Eksang, right? Eksang. So gamma gamma ro, so force gamma is in this sound. So eksang gelo. Eksang gelo. To tell out, publish. So ek, ek is the preposition that means out of. So there is a starting point. It comes from here to get out of this place or this person. So that is a preposition ek. So ek sangelo. That's why tell out. Because angelo on the verb is bring glad tidings, right? Bring tidings. So ek sangelo. So tell out. Tell out the message, right? Mm -hmm. And then next one. E, e, era, e, epa, e, epang gelo. gelo. Very good. Because this is epang. gamma gamma roll. So, epang, epang gelo. Pang, right? P A N G, right? So, epang gelo. Epang gelo. Epang gelo also compound word. Epi. Epi means on. On. On means connect, right? On. This is on. The light is on. So, to announce promise, but this epangelo is connected message. The message is what? On. It is connected. So epangelo. And then next one. Evangelio. Evan. Oh, so Evan this is the Evan this is the we Evan. learned the uh, diphthong, right? Diphthong. So epsilon, epsilon is a diphthong. What is the sound of diphthong? Epsilon, epsilon is a u sound. We need to be careful on this one, right? So u, u. Ang, you ang, gel, li, zo, zo, zeta, omega, right? Zo. So, you ang, gel, li, zo. You ang, gel, li, zo. You ang, gel, li, zo. You means well, good, which means good news, good message. So, English Bible translate you ang, gel, li, zo as a gospel, gospel. Okay, preaching gospel, announce gospel. So, announce gospel, announce good news. Okay, next one. Isangelo. Mm -hmm. So, gamma gamma, right? So, ng sound. So, isang. Isang. S A N G, right? I S A N G. So, isang. Isang gelos. So, isang gelos. Isang means like. So, Angelos is angel, so Isangelo is like the angel, like the messengers. Next one. Katangelo. Very good. So kata plus angelo. So katang, katangelo to proclaim, declare, katangelo. And then last one in Greek. 
Parangelos. Very good. Parangelo, right? Parang. Gamma gamma. So Parangelo. Para is a preposition. That means near, beside, next. So to transmit a message to command, that's the definition of this letter. Those are the uh, the Hebrew letter. Okay. I know we didn't start it yet to learn Hebrew yet. So Angelos. In Hebrew, masculine noun is malak. Malak. Malak means messenger. And then another masculine noun, malak. Same. Same. That's an Aramaic word, angel. And then melaka. Melaka is feminine. Melaka is work, deputy ship. So messenger is the work. Messenger is the deputy ship. Same. And then Melakutu, 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 feminine message. So messenger obviously deliver the message, right? Okay. And then Malachi. So Malachi is the last book of New Old Testament, right? Malachi. Malachi means my messenger, messenger. Okay. So Angelos is messenger, messenger. Now let's uh, go over. This is not every. Verse in New Testament, I just uh, take a couple of verses to understand the angelos in the Bible. Uh, let's go to start from the Matthew 1339. Okay. Uh, we can start from 37. He said, he answered and said to them, so who is he, the Christos Jesus, okay? 36 says, then Jesus sent the multitude away, okay? So he speaks in parable about sow seed, right? And then he sent the multitude away because he always talked to the multitude in parables, right? And uh, went into the house. Now he is uh, in the house. And his disciples came to him saying, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. So we learned last class, parable means what? Para plus bolle. Para bolle. Para bolle, uh, that is translated as parable. Okay. So the para bolle is right here. What is para? Again, para is a preposition. Next, uh, beside, near. So right next to you, that means para, para. And then bole comes from the verb balo. balo. Balo means to throw. So which means, Christos Jesus parable means he throw the mystery of kingdom of God right next to you. So if you are thirsty enough, if you are looking forward to understand the word of God, if you looking forward to meet Christos Jesus, then they will definitely ask and looking for and then inquire, bring out the question, right? Like Nicodemus, when we look at the John, he came at night. He was a ruler of Jew and then he was asking to Christos Jesus, how can be born again, right? Same thing, Christos Jesus always just throw the mystery of the kingdom of God right next to you. So that is the Christos Jesus always does that, then our attitude has to be, if you, we were uh, thirsty to drink the water, that is the truth of God, then we will ask Him. We will come to Him to learn from Him. So that's the parable. So the disciple explained to us the parable of the tares of the field. And 37, he answered and said to them, He who sowed the good seed is the Son of Man. Son of Man. So Son of Man sowed the good seed, right? Son of Man sowed the good seed. And the field is the Word. The field is the Word. So the field is the Word. We already learned cosmos. So cosmos is darkness, right? Cosmos is the one who doesn't have a knowledge of God. So the field is the good, uh, word. The good seed are the sons of the kingdom. So, 
the son of man sowed the good seed, and then good seed, the sons of the kingdom. But the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who saw them is the devil. So who, who is them? Then tares, right? The enemy who saw tares is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are the angels. Angels. So the, today's word, right? Angelos. Angelos. So, Podo Deristes Angelos Eishi. So, the reapers, the harvesters. The harvester is who? Angelos. Angelos is the harvester. Okay. And 40, therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out His angels, and they will gather out His kingdom, all things that offend, and those who practice lawlessness. So the Son of Man will send out His angel, right? Okay, so here, apostello, apostello, sent out, sent forth. Who? The Son of the Man, right? The Son of the Man. So Son of the Man will send forth who? O Angelos, the messengers, messengers. So based upon what it says here, Matthew chapter 13, okay, as we start from the 38, so the field is what? The field is cosmos, right? Cosmos. Cosmos is the field. Okay? Who sowed the good seed? Who sowed the good seed? The son of man, right? Son of the man, okay? And then, good seed are the sons of the kingdom, right? Sons of the kingdom. And then, tares are the what? Sons of the wicked one. So, not only good seed, there is what? Tares. And tares are sons of the wicked one. And then the enemy who sold them is the what? Devil. So these tears comes from who? Devil. Okay. The harvest is the end of the age. Okay? End of the age. So when you look at the end of the age, Shin Peleia. You see? The end, right? Shin Teleya Ho Ion. So the end of the age. Ion. Ion is age, okay? So Shin Teleya. Shin Teleya. Shin Teleya, they translate as the end, but Shin. Shin is preposition. Shin means together. Shin means what? Together. Together. That's a preposition. Teleia. Teleia means the conclusion, end, result. Let's go to the dictionary 4930. Forty-nine thirty. Okay. So Shin Teleia, it comes from 4931. So entire completion, because it's completion, Teleia. But King James translate as end, okay? And then Shin Teleia is a compound word to complete entirely, to execute. But King James end, finish, fulfill, make. Many different words they translate, right? Look at the 4862. Shin is together, okay? Shin is a preposition that means together, okay? Together. Teleia, Teleia is telos. Telos is to end to finish, to complete, okay? Telea, that is what? Accomplished, finished, completed, okay? So it comes from 5056, telos, 
Telos is what? The result. Conclusion. Conclusion. Which is you get to the ending point. Okay? First atom through the second atom to become the goal. The, become the son of man, son of God, children of kingdom, sons of kingdom. Okay? That's the teleia, the finishing point. Complete. Okay? So you complete. Complete. Complete what? Together. Complete together. Okay? So here it says end of the age means you do complete together, accomplish it together, finish it together, complete together. Okay? So you complete together with who? With Christos Jesus. Because Bible is talking, okay? Bible is talking, you crucify with who? Christos Jesus. And you resurrect Christos Jesus. Which means, Christos Jesus lives inside me. So I no longer live for myself because Christos Jesus lives in, inside me. So I am doing the work of God. Not by myself. I am doing the work of God means because God lives inside me. That is a Shin Teleya. Together accomplished. Together accomplished. So, Together accomplish of the world, of the age, right? Who? The Deritos, harvester. Harvester is what? Angelos. Angelos. So what does that mean? The son of the man sow the good seed. Okay? And then the good seed is what? Sons of the kingdom. Okay? So Christos Jesus talking through who? Sons of the kingdom. So you hear the word of God, cosmos, and then it turns out way of side, stony place, thorn, and then good soil, right? Good soil bring forth 60, 100 forces, 60 forces, 30 forces, right? So when sons of kingdom, so through who? Through the apostolos, through the messenger of God, through the preacher, it planted into the cosmos. So when you hear and understand, okay, you are together accomplished by who? Angelos. So who's Angelos? Sons of the kingdom is Angelos. So seed getting planted inside you, and then you are harvested through who? The Angelos, the messenger. Messenger. So the what about tares? Tares is the one. The devil sent it to the sons of the wicked one, which is what? Force apostle. Force apostle. Okay? And then force preacher. The preacher who doesn't have a full understanding of the Bible. Okay? So that's why in the New Testament, Jew says, the cloud without water. Water is the truth. They are cloud. They are cloud too. Okay? So the tares planted in. It turns out, not the good soil, it turns out what? Way of side, stony place, and thorn, right? So they cannot get the fruit. What fruit are we talking? Fruit of eternal life, right? So they will be the angelos, the sons of kingdom, will gather out and to burn into the fire. So 20. Therefore, as the tares are gathered, born in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out His angel. Again, angelos, right? Angelos. They will gather out of His kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness. And will cast them into the furnace of fire. They will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Okay. So, who is the righteous? The sons of the kingdom is the righteous, right? Who is the righteous? The cosmos who gather out as good soil and bring forth 104th, 64th, and 34th. They are also the righteousness. So that's the uh, Christos Jesus explained to the disciple. So he who has ear to hear. 
understand, perceiving, perceiving. So then, cosmos, when they receive the good seed, they will grow up to become the what? To become the sons of the kingdom. Sons of the kingdom is same as what? Angelos. Angelos. That's why when we go to the New Testament, 1 Corinthians 3.6. 3, 6. Okay. We can start from 5. Who then is Paul and who is Apollos? But ministers through whom you believe, as the Lord gave to each one. I planted. Apostle Paul says, I planted. Okay. Apollos watered. Okay. So they are called minister, right? They are both of angelos, messenger. They are both of sons of the kingdom. Okay? So I planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. Okay? So then neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one. And each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor. We are God's what? Fellow workers. Look at fellow workers. Shin negros. Shin negros. Again, shin means what? Together. 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 Together work. Together labor. Okay? So we are God's fellow workers. You are God's what? Field. You are God's field. 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 You are God's building, building. So whoever bring out the hundred fours, sixty fours, thirty fours, they become the building of God, temple of God, house of God. Okay. So that's the angelos. Next one we can do go to twenty two thirty. Matthew. Okay, those of heresy and Sadducee, okay, they came to Christos Jesus. When you go to 23, the same day the Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to him and asked him, and saying, Teacher, Moses says that if a man dies having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were with us seven brothers. The fourth died after he had married. And having no offspring, left his wife to his brother. Likewise, the second or so, and the third, even to the seventh. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of the seven will she be? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said to them, You are mistaken, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. So they were asking about the resurrection uh, question. And then Christos Jesus answered like that. And then verse 34, In the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels of God in heaven. Okay? So look at the angelos here. Okay? So as the angel of the God in the heaven. Okay? In heaven. So the resurrection, when the resurrection is happen, it is what? Like angel of God. Are they married or they don't marry? They do not marry. So angelos, they are not given married, marriage, neither married nor are given marriage. Okay? So they are in the what then? Mediator. Angelos is the mediator. Okay? Angelos is not married because he already married with who? Christos Jesus. Okay? That's why Apostle Paul here talking about uh, 
on the New Testament, uh, 2 Corinthians 11.2. Okay, 11.2. Apostle Paul says like that, For I am jealous for you with godly jealousy, for I have withdrawn to you to one husband, okay, that I may present you as a chest virgin to Christ. So what is the Apostle Paul's role as a mediator? Resurrected person is the mediator. Angelos is the mediator. Apostle is the mediator. Between who? Between the woman to Christos Jesus. Okay? That's why when we go to the 1 Corinthians chapter 11, what does it say that? The head of woman is who? The man. The head of man is who? Christ. The head of Christ is what? Father. God. So, the Matthew 22 talking about the resurrection. Okay? Then the Angelos, right? So, Angelos is the who? The sons of the kingdom, right? And then they are the what? Harvester, right? Okay? And then the Angelos is the one? Bring the woman. This woman will be what? Wife, right? To who? Christos? Jesus. Who is what? One husband, right? Okay. One husband. That's why he is just mediator. He is not married with a woman. Okay? He's not married with a woman. The woman does not give in marriage to Angelos. So the messenger, pastor, is the mediator. Also, who is the mediator? Christos Jesus, also mediator. Between who? Between Angelos and woman to who? Father, right? That's what it says, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. The head of woman is man. Who is man? Angelos. Angelos is the, that's why, masculine noun. Okay? Then, head of man is who? Christos Jesus. Head of Christos Jesus is who? The Father. Then, who is the one resurrected? Angelos is the one resurrected. That's why, when we go back to the Matthew chapter 13, who is the righteous, righteous one? Angelos is the righteous one. And then the woman is the candidate to become the righteous one. Then what? How can we start become a righteous one? Based upon Romans chapter 3, we already learned. There is no one righteousness, right? So how can we become righteousness? People who understand the word of God. People who seek, seek out, out the word of God. Seek out the God. So the woman is not forever woman. Woman is to change to become who? Angelos, messenger, teacher, teacher. So student, the disciple, disciple is the candidate to become teacher. That's why when we go to the John chapter 10, Christos Jesus, he said, he himself, I am the shepherd, right? And you are the sheep, right? So sheep is not forever sheep, right? Disciple is not the dis forever disciple as a Disciple means matetes, learner, right? Learner is not forever learner, right? Learner has to become the teacher. teacher. That's why Christos Jesus, when he resurrected and went to the Father, he gave us a great, great commission on Matthew chapter 28, right? Making all the nation as your disciple, right? Baptize them in the name of Father, and then Son and Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe, teach them to observe. So the not last the, the before last Sunday I was preaching the Sunday sermon about Trinity Kingdom. Okay? They're talking about the baptism, water baptism, blood baptism, and then Holy Spirit baptism using the uh, the first John chapter five or seven and eight. So when you have time, very important preaching I did at the time, you may listen to it. So that's the Angelos. Angelos. So Angelos is the righteousness, Angelos is the teacher, Angelos is the harvester, Angelos is the 
sons of the kingdom who married with Christos Jesus. Christos Jesus. And then verse 3 here says, But I fear, Apostle Paul says, But I fear, least somehow as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your mind may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit, which you have not received, or a different gospel, which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. So what is that means based upon that we just learned from Matthew chapter 13? Okay. So in the field, who is the field then? The woman is the field, right? Okay. Cosmos. So the field, not only sons of kingdom, angelos is planted, right? And then there is a one what? Hairs, right? Hairs who sent by the devil, right? Okay, devil. Okay. So the angelos, the sons of kingdom, he is the preacher, what? Christos Jesus, right? What about the tares, sons of wicked one? They are preaching what? Another? Jesus. Both of them preaching about Jesus, but depends on the field. If field does not have a discernment, okay? So they accept not only the good seed, but also tares. Because good seed and tares both growing together inside you. Okay? So what is the processing to meet the preacher who sent by Christos Jesus? That is the, that is the what? You meet a lot of different husbands. Different husbands, different angelos. That's why you were nothing but to commit adultery. adultery. So through the word of God, to who meet the Apostle Paul like this kind of situation, you have to keep washing yourself through the word of God to become what? pure virgin until you meet the preacher Angelos to be prepared to meet the one husband, one husband who is Christos Jesus. So Angelos is preaching the Jesus the sons of kingdom but sons of the wicked one preaching the another Jesus. And they are preaching also giving you also different spirit. And they are also talking to you different gospel. Different gospel. So when you start to learn from Bi uh, Saros Bible Academy, and then I was explaining the gospel. Gospel is born of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, and then the presence of Christos Jesus. All those things happening where? Inside you, inside you. But those preachers who just teaching you, oh, Jesus Christ was coming to this world 2017 years ago, and then he did wonderful things, and then crucify, and then he went to the Father. And then he promised to us he will come again. When? 100 years later or 1,000 years later? When? People who preach like that as a history Jesus, historical Jesus, and still waiting for second coming Jesus. Okay? So they are what? Uh, they are another, preaching another Jesus or true Jesus. Another Jesus. Are uh, they give you Holy Spirit or different spirit? Different spirit. What is different spirit means? The word comes from who? The sons of wicked one, sons of devil. And if you if if they preaching like that, that is what gospel? Different gospel. That's why Apostle Paul says Christos Jesus has to born inside you. Crucify with you together. Shin teleia, shin teleia. Complete together. Work together. Shin teleia. Accomplish together. Finish together. That is the true Jesus. That is the Holy Spirit. That is the gospel. If any preacher preaching different like that, then it turns out what? Tears or good seed. That preacher is the tears. Bible is, Bible is like that. So remind you again, then Galatians, Galatians chapter 220, right? Apostle Paul says, right? I've been crucified with who? Christ. 
Apostle Paul, Paul says he crucified with Christ. That's why Bible is the spiritual book. It's not the history book. Bible is my story. Bible is not his story. History. Okay? His story. Bible has to be whose story? My story. Born of Jesus. Resurrected of Jesus. Presence of Jesus. So I can become the sons of king, kingdom. During my what? During the end of the age means what? During my life. During my life. Resurrection has to be happened during my life. Once you finish your physical life, you lost your chance to be resurrected. So Apostle Paul says, I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I have by faith in the Son of God, who loved me, gave himself for me. Did he historically crucify with Christ, Christus Jesus, Apostle Paul? No, he didn't. Then why he say that? So the poor preacher who's not preaching like this, they are the sons of sons of wicked one. So the listener, you have to have that discernment. Are you preaching? Which preacher who sent by Christos Jesus, who sent by the devil? Very, very important. Word of God say that. Look at the next chapter, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Oh foolish Galatians. Apostle Paul say that. After he finished 220, O oh, foolish collation, who was bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Because I tell you everything already. Bible is a spiritual book. Bible is not history book. So now you you I already let you know about that, but you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. Didn't you crucify with Christos Jesus already? Now you are, someone tells you about that and then you try to not obey about that. You know the truth. And like, are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? He say that. He say Again, the, uh, I was preaching about this one too. When we go to the Roman chapter 6, verse 3, Apostle Paul say like this, Or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into Christ, Jesus were baptized into death, his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. So when I mention about this one, it's a blood baptism I was mentioned on my uh, Sunday sermon. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. So that's Angelos, he's the mediator. Okay. Let's go to uh, Matthew 24, 31. Okay. Uh, we start from 30, 29. Immediately after tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven will be shaken. So we know Matthew 24 is like a small portion of the book of Revelation. We used to say that. Talking about the, uh, the end of the age, right? Which is Shintelia. Shintelia. Okay? Together completeness. Together finish with Christos Jesus. So in order to be happen, what has to be happen? Tribulation. Until you come to Star Wars Bible Academy, you didn't have any tribulation. It starts a tribulation from here. Because you need to take on your own cross to follow the Christos Jesus. What is the cross? Cross is the tribulation. You need to give it up your thought in order to observing the God's thought, God's knowledge. 
So sun will be darkened. Moon will not give its light. Star will fall from heaven. So the one sun, moon, and star will be falling down. Okay? Who was your sun? Who was your moon? Who was your star? Michael Jackson was my star or what? You see what I'm saying? Anybody who doing the role of suns and moons and star to you in your life, it will be falling down. Why? Now you heard the seventh day trumpet. Seventh day Angelos trumpet. That gives you resurrection. That gives you discernment. Ah, Bible is talking like that. I didn't know that until I come to hear it. Oh, I didn't know there was a two, two heavens. In Hebrew word Hashamayim, the heaven is two, dual form. So those serpent was the fake God. I didn't know that. He was acting like a God in my life. So you have a discernment. You have a distinguish. So those sun, moon, star will be fall down from heaven. Where is the heaven? This is your heaven, your brain, your knowledge. Heaven gives you what? The understanding. Heaven gives you understanding. And then the earth has the wisdom. Earth has the wisdom. Where does it say that? It says the Old Testament Proverbs. I can find out to show it to you. Recently I, uh, I put it into here. Proverbs 3.19. When you go to Old Testament 3.19, the Lord by wisdom founded what? The earth is founded wisdom. By understanding, He established the heaven. He established heaven by what? By understanding. By understanding. So go back to that the Matthew 24.31 again. Those sun, moon, star will fall down from heaven. Because you heard from the heaven about what? Understanding. The heaven established through by understanding. The earth founded wisdom. Okay? So now you heard the message from the angelos who sent by Christus Jesus. Now you have understanding. Where? In your heaven. In your heaven. In your heaven. So now you have a discernment. Oh, Christus Jesus. Other Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, different spirit. Oh, gospel, different gospel. So those different gospel, different spirit, and other Jesus, you can put together, bind it together, put it into what? The bottomless pit. During how many years? 1,000 years. 1,000 years means what? Your human nature, change, alteration, transform to become the what? God's nature. The last era. And the verse 30. So, and the powers of heaven will be shaken, right? Your head will be what? Shaken. Oh, confusing. Headache. Okay, which one is it? Okay, I'm confusing. So, earth is happening, right? The earth shaking. Your heaven is tribulation, right? It starts from where? By learning Bible, Greek, and Hebrew at the Star Wars Bible Academy. That's the what day? Six day starts, right? Six day starts. Six day is what day? The today. Today when you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. He who has ear, let him hear, right? And verse 30, then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Whose heaven again? My heaven. My heaven. Because he's going to send who? Angelos, sons of kingdom. And then plant the what? Good seed. Good seed already existing inside you and tears also existing inside you. But you didn't have a discernment. You got the knowledge from the devil. Now, oh, oh, I need to stop this one on my heaven. I need to take this one. I need to eat this water instead of this water. So this is good water. Now you have that discernment. So Son of Man will appear in heaven. Okay? In your heaven. Inside you. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. Every tribes in your earth, okay, they will cry. Woo! Because he show up in the heaven, inside you. So the Bible is talking about inside you. 
And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So Son of Man coming on the clouds, right? Look at the coming on the clouds. Son of Man coming on the clouds. So, Erkomai coming, Epiton Nepelon coming. King James says in, New King James says on. So, what is correct? Epi is on, on, on the cloud, cloud of the heaven, heaven. Okay. So, Son of Man coming on the clouds. Then who is cloud? The Son of Man is the one who sowed the seed, right? And then coming on the cloud. Who is cloud? Angelos is cloud. Where does he say that? Hebrew chapter 12, verse 1. We can quick go there. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of what? Witness. Witness, Witness is the Angelos. Angelos is a preacher, pastor. Witness, they are witnessing about what? Three witness in the heaven, three witness in the earth. By preaching again. Three witness in the heaven is what? Father, the Word, Holy Spirit. Three witness in the earth is what? Water, blood, spirit. Those are Trinity in kingdom. I was preaching about that. So you should hear my YouTube channel about that. So, they are the cloud. Okay? So, you see the Christos Jesus through what? Through cloud. Because you cannot clearly see him yet. You see through him, through who? Through Angelos. Because Christos Jesus inside Angelos. So then, that good seed is planted inside you. You already have it. And then he will appear. He will appear through who? Angelos, cloud. But not only there is a cloud of Christos Jesus, when we go to the, think of Jew, okay? Judah, New Testament. We can quick go there. 112. They are, uh, these are spots in your love feast while they feast with you without fear, serving only themselves. They are clouds, what? Clouds without what? Without water. Water. Carried, carried about by the winds. Late autumn tree without what? Without fruit. They don't have a fruit of eternal life. Twice dead, pull up by the roots. Raging waves of the sea, forming up their own shame, wandering stars. They are stars, right? Wandering stars, right? Whom is reserved the blackness of the darkness forever. So they are the also clouds of what? Without water. What is water? Water is the knowledge of God. Okay? So they are the cloud with water. But sons of wicked one, the tares, they are the clouds of what? Without water. Without water. Yes, they don't have water. That's why Christos Jesus talked to the Sadducee, Pharisee, and Scriber. Your father is what? Devil. You are mother. Because you are mothering in the beginning. Who mothering? The serpent. Mothering to Eve, the woman. And then they are not standing in the truth. Whatever they say, they speak from their own resources, not from the understanding of the word of God. So they are different spirit. They are talking other Jesus. They are talking the other Jesus, other different spirit, and different gospel. Still using the Bible. Okay. So go back again that 24, Matthew 24. 31, right? We need to go 31. So we just see uh, the Son of Man coming on the clouds. Cloud. We're just talking about that. Of heaven with the power and glory. And he will send his who? Angels. Angelos. Angelos. The Son of Man.
sons of kingdom. With the great sound of a trumpet. So how many trumpet? On the book of Revelation, one through seventh trumpet, right? So the as trumpet, you hear from the trumpet sound of the word. And then the seal is open, right? So how many seals? Seven seals. So first trumpet, fourth seal. Second trumpet, second seal, etc. Seventh trumpet, seven seals open. So you are fully open to understand the word of God. That is the seventh day. Seventh trumpet, seven seals. So Christos Jesus teaching to the disciple on the mountain, Matthew chapter 5, he opened up his mouth. So open is anoigo. Same thing, open the seal. So you open up your seal through the preaching from the angelos yes. who sent by Christos Jesus. So his angel with a great sound of a trumpet, trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn this parable. From the fig tree, when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. Okay? Summer time is the time to harvesting time in Jewish calendar. So harvesting is near. So the angelos will harvest, right? Let's go to Act 7, 738. Uh, 37, start from 37. This is then Moses, who said to the children of Israel, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. Him you shall hear. So Moses is the prophet, right? Okay, 30, 38. This is he. This is Moses, who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai and with our father, the one who received the living oracle to give to us. So this is he, Moses, prophet. He's in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel. Angel is what? Angelos. Angelos. So the wilderness, they were at the wilderness means they get out of the uh, Egypt with Moses, right? Went through the Red Sea. So when we go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, so Apostle Paul is talking about there is what? Water baptism processing. Go through the sea, right? And then they are in the wilderness. Wilderness? Wilderness congregation. Congregation, they said. Congregation is the church. Okay? Ecclesia. Ecclesia is what? Church. So they were at the wilderness what? Church. Wilderness church. And then they were at the what? Canaan church. And then they are at the what? Christos Jesus Church. Okay? You come and move up until you meet Christos Jesus. So the Moses and then the, the Canaan, the wilderness and Canaan, okay, you are under the law of death. Because you receive what? God's commandment. God's commandment. And then on sixth day, the Christos Jesus preaching about the real meaning of death that commandment, right? Mm -hmm. That's why when we go to the uh, the first John, two seven, the <coughs> apostle John is talking like that. Brethren, I wrote no new commandment to you, but on all the commandment which you have had from the beginning. Okay, so all commandment and new commandment same. The content is the same, the Bible, okay, which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you which thing is true in him and in you, because darkness is passing away and true light is already shining. Okay? So the old commandment is the what? Word. Old commandment is what? The word. Word is what? Or commandment. The logos is or commandment. You see here? Or logos. Logos is what? 
or commandment. Okay? But you have that what status? What status? Look at the Bible here, original Bible. B I I A. We already learned that. Verb indicative what? I imperfect. So or commandment is imperfect. You have it as what? Logos. But that imperfect become perfect when you hear the what? Krema. From the logos to krema. You have a full understanding. That's why do not murder. That's or commandment. You had from the beginning as what? Imperfect status. You have that word. But do not murder you understood until you meet the uh, sixth day. Under the fourth day, Moses, and fifth day on the Canaan church, you heard the do not murder. What does that mean? Oh, I kept the commandment because I didn't kill anybody. That is the whole commandment. But now you know, oh, Bible is the spiritual book. If I not tell the truth of God to the people, then I'm murdering my brethren. Spiritual meaning. That's why when the young rich man came to Christos Jesus, what shall I do in order to get eternal life? And Christos Jesus says, keep the commandment. And then what did he answer? I kept everything as I was young. Because he only had what commandment? Old commandment, new commandment, new commandment, no different. Because it is the word of God. Do not murder, do not commit adultery. Oh, I did not commit any adultery. So he understood as what? As an old commandment. But Christos Jesus opened his mouth, giving you hurema, the spirit, the life. Commit adultery is not just physical adultery. When you observe the different gospel, different Jesus, different spirit, then you commit adultery. See how much different? Okay. Do not commit adultery. If we keep as an old commandment, not only believer does not do that, those non-believers, they know they are not supposed to commit adultery. So what's the difference, Christian and the non-Christian? But we are nothing but to understand in that way during the what time? During the Moses, the Canaan, until you meet the Christos Jesus, who is sent by Angelos. Very, very different. Same content Bible, but not only you understand the Bible from the original text, but also understanding is totally different. Different. Yeah. So we are finishing here today Act 738. Okay. From the next class, we are keep continuing the rest of the part. Keep study the Angelos. Okay.